against Robin, one of the more projectile-based characters. So I'm not really surprised to see him here. Yeah, Villager, not a very common character here, but it is good to see him whenever we can. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, good down air. Looking for another one, and he's gonna be able to catch it. With the, the balloons are gonna be able to help him out get that spike. And that is the end of that first stock for Stocktaker. He's under thunder now, trying to take out Stocktaker. Planting that tree, he's going to recover high. Digging him into the ground, and the bowling ball is going to be able to take him out. Not yet, good DI. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, remember the uppy spike. Except, and Robin does not have a reflector, so we can't really counter any of the projectile play that Stockman Taker may throw out. But it looks like he doesn't need it, because he's got a pretty big lead against Stock Taker. Right? And the... Yeah, that is surprising. I mean, he has played, he has used a fair use of projectiles, and I have not seen one pocket. That was a good dodge. Oh, most certainly. God bless PS2. Over the down air. Using the Levin Sword. I'm sorry, that. I, I don't know if I remember, I'm sorry. Using the. I would call it the Robin's Gentleman. Exactly. Using the bootleg PK Fire, and now he's gonna use the book for it. Using the Arc Thunder, not gonna kill yet. Not the strong. He's got the Thunder Sword back. Four throw. Have Stock Digger just fishing for a grab, maybe, maybe just. Ooh, and the Thoron going to take out Stock Digger. Exactly. Ooh, and the last hit of Thoron did catch him. He's using a lot of it. And also, again, I have not seen Stock Digger use Pocket yet. He's just refusing to use it, even though it is probably one of the better tools to have against Robin. I'm just saying, for a move like, uh, for Thoron, oh, oh. Yeah, for like a move like Thoron or Arcfire, that could be really useful for Villager. You now, they're both on the last stock, stock ticker, at currently at 61. Now he's at 80. A uh, bit of a mountain to climb, but it is definitely possible with the comeback ability of Villager. He's able to... Yeah, some of maybe able to edge guard jewel. I'm charging up that thunder. And the dash attack? Okay, no, not yet, not yet. And he's gonna use the throw on. Yeah, that's it. Is there a way to turn your mic up, by the way? Just just a little bit? Just a tad bit. It's a little hard to hear you. Yeah, same here. So maybe just increase the mic volume of both of us if you don't mind. Oh, okay. That's uh, good to see. So they're going to town and... Alright, weird starting, but... Here we go. He's going to switch to Wolf. The Villager clearly did not work out, but maybe the Wolf will.
exactly. Oh, and went for the up smash. That might have done it, but I'm not too sure. The back air. It's not taking out 108. Jewel at zero, but he's on his second stock. The good back air. And now they both have pretty even percentages, but they, and the combo of potential of Wolf is immaculate. Exactly. So it is very easy for him to rack up damage. Ooh, and not going to be able to recover. Not too great for Jewel, but it is not over for him yet. He can back throw into Thoron, and they can just kill it like negative three. It's not true, but like if you if you don't do anything after it, it just kills it like four. <laughs> it's like it's like not the final hit hits. It's just like one little tad of it, and then it just kills you at like zero. It's ridiculous, and it's so funny when it happens. Ooh, and the, the palm. Exactly. The wolf definitely a lot better, but then again, Jewel did SD there. He did not run out of the book. He still had some book left. It just was not able to make it back to the stage. So now I believe we're going to you know, get a different stage. We're going to Lilat. Ooh, icky. <laughs> I don't like Lilat. Oh, nope, just the music. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Star Fox music is great. I, I'm not denying that. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, I just noticed. Maybe it's the hair. Probably. Come on, we are in winner's quarters. Winner, uh, winner of this goes to the winner's semis. And uh, yeah, just a friendly reminder for everyone back at home who does not know how brackets work in the palm. The Kung Fu palm gonna come out and take out Style Taker. I mean, uh, take out Jewel. Now just both camping each other out with their projectiles. That grab just barely whiffing, unfortunate. Now going to try to juggle him with some up airs. You don't have to approach me. I'm not gonna let that happen. It's it's whatever. Uh, yeah, that's just the that's just the rules of the spacing. And Stock Taker's only taking 46 on his first stock. Wolf, uh, sorry, Jewel has a, a huge mountain to climb. It might even be a little too much for him. I don't like to down people before the set ends, but hey, I, I'm just calling it like I see it. Another four there. Gonna take Jewel off stage. Gonna just play his off stage mind games. Over the up smash, not gonna be able to catch him. The four tilt. And the damage is racking up on Jewel. He's in an awful situation right now. But when the up smash. He doesn't care what Jewel wants, he cares what the Style Taker wants, and that's the only thing I can respect about this. We're now just playing basketball with the, the sword. And now just throwing out the lasers. The pum pum gonna come out. Now it's just gonna lead into some, some mid-air combos, I guess. The forward airs, the up airs, and now the more lasers. Why not? Gonna go for down throw? No, up, up throw. Okay. I'm gonna shield the arc fire and the back throw. I'm sorry, back air. And I'm just throwing out three arc fires in a row, and that book is gone. Ooh, and now Jewel one hit away from losing this set and being sent to the to the pit of losers, I'd like to say. It's a place I'd like to call home, but definitely. Ooh, nice four there. 
Or for another. A down throw. He drew at 156. Stock taker at 99, but he doesn't have an extra stock to, sp uh, stock to spare. So it's going to be a, a hell of a mountain to climb. Oh, and the, the dash attack? Okay. That's fair. So Stottaker going to be going on to winner's semis. Good for him.